Hi, I'm Linda Shell, and welcome to Writers on the Air Afterwards. And today we're going to interview Janet Sage. That's S A G E, and that's a perfect name for an author. I bet you've been told that before, haven't you? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first I've really been sharing any of my work, so this is um, just kind of oh. first, first time. Yeah. There's got to be a first time for everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. So when did you start writing? This was way back when I was about 14. I remember I was sitting in study hall, and um, I just started writing, and uh, have been doing it for a long time now. Is this now, now just where you're trying to get serious? You've been doing it for a long time, but now are you trying to get out there and have people I, read your work? Yes, I would like to, to put it out there. Um, I've had several people read some of my work, and they've encouraged me to have a voice. Well, so that's wonderful. This is a good, um, you know, area to, to do that in. Absolutely, and it's a good place to learn to relax, just get in the feel for speaking. Yes. Because yes. everybody has stage fright. I had stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you've been writing since you've been 14? Yes. 14. Mm -hmm. Have you published anything yet? No, I've um, uh, shared some things and uh, I've not got, gotten any response yet. It's hard to, with poetry and prose and short stories, it's hard. It's a hard market to get out there. And that's not been my main goal. It's been self-expression and um, a nice healing process for me to write. Mm -hmm. It's very therapeutic, yes. At the end of the day, though, I hope that you can, after you've had your therapy, put it down and get it in a book. I think Create Space is a wonderful vehicle for authors today mm. because your chances of getting published in mainstream publishing is about one in 5,000. Wow. And yes, and it may be even higher than that. And um, the self published people are getting more and more respect because the industry is changing so much. Yes. The main thing is getting a good editor, and that's not easy to find a good editor. I bet you found that out too. Absolutely. <laughs> now, everybody's got a shingle out, and they all want some of your money, mm -hmm. and it's hard to separate the wheat from the shed. Yes. So you're from Akron. Yes, Akron, Ohio. Have you always lived up in Ohio? Always, and uh, finally had enough in mm -hmm. two and a half years. We're down in Florida now and, and loving it, absolutely loving it. Oh, I love Florida. Well, we've been, we're from Youngstown. We've been down here 30 years, and I can tell you the weather up north is changing. I have a girlfriend in Delaware, mm -hmm. and the weather just sounds like a nightmare up there. Mm -hmm. uh, steroids. That's what would eventually um, made us change and move down here. And on that, we thank Janet for coming, and we want to see her again, and we want to see all of you to come out, too. Thank you.